lot of expectation and uh, I, I'm hopeful that football will be the winner. In Germany, Germans organize the tournament the way they do, precision, football will be precision. Three matches in a group will be telling point. Uh, that is the most difficult part. Can he nail well, it? Uh, well, I was going to say, he doesn't miss, does he? <laughs> He doesn't I, miss, I'm he hits the nail fair on the head, doesn't he? He hopes football will be the winner, and I got precision that. Too. Precision too, precision. And that the and German group, precision, was that German precision? German precision. Yeah, and he's got the idea that if you win in the group, you can progress. Is that what he thinks? Uh, that's God the... God almighty, he doesn't precision. miss. He doesn't, no, no. I'm no. surprised we didn't go further 32 years ago. <laughs> When Rally was at the helm. I know. Well, I got to say, thinking like that, I, I think, mean, the players would have been so clear. I know. I think this wisdom has come to him late. Oh, okay. You know, yeah. I in the last two minutes. Yeah. Uh, Roy, uh, are you going to try and get uh, Rasik on me yes, late night? Yes. I recorded an eight-hour interview uh, with Rally. I only asked him one question, and he just took over. And honestly, it is fascinating. It is fascinating. He doesn't miss. No. He doesn't no. miss. No. And it's it's a magnificent. You know, interview. I'm calling it eight hours of rally. <laughs> and it will be available on DVD later on. Uh, should you want to get involved. Now, uh, uh, let's uh, face it, there's uh, so much support coming in for the Dribble uh, at Dribble Camp, Dribble headquarters here. And it's time to pick up a bit of uh, correspondence with Poulet Freaks. Roy, uh, look, uh, there's a terrific email you've got yep. concerning this photo. Yes, this has come from uh, Linda and Brendan Rees mm -hmm. of Quakers Hill uh, in New South Wales HG. Uh, they say, we are so excited about the Socceroos uh, appearance in the World Cup, so we thought we'd uh, get into the spirit of the finals as much as possible without humiliating ourselves, uh, dressing up the kiddies instead. Uh, lovely, lovely touch. <laughs> Our six-month-old twins, uh, Natalia and Sophie, uh, are getting into the spirit of the cup, whether they like it or not. Photo attached. You can see the photo there. and I, I think it's very cute, and uh, I would like to encourage all Australians to put on the green and gold today. Wow. And for the rest of the World Cup. I mean, we're there. We're there. We're going to go all the way. Here three we go. One, here we go. 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 Now, how many years is this since we've got to oh, go? Oh, it'll be a while. <laughs> now, if you want to get a hold of us, uh, email royundhg at bigpond.com. And we'd love to see vision uh, of the event at your place, how you're watching it. Uh, are any of the kids learnt to dribble? Can you boot the ball from the top of the drive into Dad's open boot, say, 30 metres yeah. away? Anything like that. Uh, pictures of celebrations, wild celebrations at your place. And if you are just legless, send in the pictures as well, because we'd love to see them as uh, on the uh, on the dribble network. Now, Roy, uh, I've got a uh, uh, email here. Born and raised in Suttgart. This is from Boris, obviously yeah. Boris Becker. I moved to Australia in 96, uh, lived on the Sunshine Coast, uh, loves our work on the Dribble Network and uh, he's in Stuttgart from the World Cup. Yep. Loves seeing Dribble. Uh, wondering if we could catch up with a beer uh, in Stuttgart. Uh, just let him know. Uh, what was that date? Uh, well, I'm hoping July the 9th. Oh, we'll be there for the night. Yeah. We can join him for a beer, for sure. Yeah. And that'd be great to hook up with Boris uh, yeah. in Stuttgart on July the 9th. Maybe a, a few beers. Well, it'll be a few beers. Uh, Maybe 20 or 30 beers would be great. With Boris. Yeah. Can we turn that into a bit of a dribble special, Roy? 20 or 30 beers with Boris. <laughs> You know, <laughs> not quite how it go. We'll just swing it. Now, yeah, you've got another one. No, I've got a hero gram here. Hero gram? Hero gram. Hero Yes. Uh, dear HG and Roy and uh, Dribble Freaks. Dribble Freaks. I am 14. This has come from Nathan O'Leary of Maree in South Australia. Beautiful yes. part of the world. Uh, I am 14 and respect referees. Well, yes. who doesn't? Uh, I want to be a referee, he adds. Uh, could you pass on my best wishes to those three great officials, Mark Shield, Nathan Gibson and Ben Wilson, who are officiating in the Saudi Arabia Tunisia match. Oh. They are my heroes. And God, what a big day for Mark Shield blowing the whistle in that It'll match. Be fantastic. Isn't that great having three Aussies right. officiating at this right. level? Uh, wouldn't it be great if they got the final and Australia was in it? <laughs> Be fantastic, and I've got to say, I hope we don't get. I, I thought the referee didn't have the best of games last the night in the three-one. Hopeless, yeah. hopeless. But on the other hand, I think what I call justice prevailed. Yeah, it did with the three-one. Did you get that three-one? Yes. Three one. Oh. I won't let Roy near the cowboy again because well, I'm. We a don't bit, need it. No, we don't. Well, we need it. Now I've got uh, another beer though. <laughs> 
I've got an email from Rosie Seaton in Belsize Park, London. Oh, yes. NW3. Rosie writes, I'm a dribble freak. Mm. How about that win last night? Question mark. Sadly, I was legless during the opening ceremony. <laughs> Would you have any highlights of the event at Camp Dribble HQ? As my friend uh, Seamus says, it was tops. Tops. Have you got anything left, Roy? I don't know that we can go back, but I understand. In the opening ceremony. Look, I had my uh, telephone yes. with a camera on it. Yes. I took a couple of shots, yeah. Well, take us through them. Let's have a look at these for Rosie uh, Seaton yeah. in Belsize Park. Now, look at this. This is whipping. They love whipping in Germany, don't they? I mean, they just love punishment. They love getting dolling it out and they love receiving it. And that's why they wear the leather trousers and yes. here's this amazingly erotic. Slap dance. I can hardly look. You just it's, slap yourself. It's just incredible. It's the yeah. whirling dervish come yeah. to slap. Here they are tooling with the about bells, with yeah. the bells. I think the, the bells. bells here are a symbol, HG, for the... Uh, fertility. Fertility, yes. And the rotation of the scrotum. <laughs> In the old days, you could make your scrotum ring like that. <laughs> That was the idea. Uh, originally, this, of course, as yeah. somebody with a lot of vigour there, uh, yeah. passes your camera. Originally, that was done without pants, wasn't it? Indeed, and, and the... without a bell. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Roy, I uh, hope that answers uh, Rosie Seaton's request to see a bit more of that magnificent opening ceremony. Again, that email address, royundhg at bigpond.com, and the web address is socceroos.bigpond.com. Uh -huh. And we'd love to see people get involved, and especially if you've got some vision of you enjoying, did I say it again? 3 1, Three the one. World Cup here in Germany. Uh, <clears throat> now, we do uh, move on to a section which we laughingly call Fat Idiots. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think the Fat Idiots this week uh, involve post Hooter celebrations here in Germany. And I think we've got some of the uh, wonderful people here in this uh, Fat Idiot section uh, celebrating the Australian win. Roy? Takes me back. <laughs> I mean, we were there, weren't we? What? I mean, like, a few hours ago. <laughs> that bloke he tries to you know, drill his way through to China using his, using his date as a here drill. He comes. I love that. There he goes. <laughs> Up he goes. Australia. And this bloke isn't, hasn't had a beer all day. No. Uh, this is complete natural, natural euphoria, actually. Natural, natural euphoria. 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 That's what happens yeah. in Germany. See, that's what's happened now. Australia's stepped up. Yes. I mean, they've come to the World Cup. They've stepped up. Yeah. And people are starting to get the Australian message. That's isn't right. It? It's fun. It's fitness. Get involved. Get involved. And uh, I must say, this shocked me, though. After the match, mm. uh, we went back to O-Ringen. Mm. And we sat down with the uh, team. At, yeah. uh, at the palace. It's my kind of town, O'Ringen. I know. Do you know it's built, the, 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 the hotel where the, boy, where the boys are, mm -hmm. was built on the first purpose built jail in human history. <laughs> Goes back to the second century, they reckon. Is that right? The first purpose built jail in human history. Just before, in O'Ringen. In O'Ringen. Why yeah. are you mentioning O'Ringen? Look, it's yeah. been a dream of mine since I've been here in Germany right. to have a sister city relationship between <sighs> O'Ringen and an Australian town. What, what, like Una Dada or something like that? Well, I, I don't know if anybody in Una Dada would be able to see this, but if they were, yes. why not let us know why Wouldn't you want to be great if the mayor of Una Dada met up with the mayor of O'Ringen? Via dribble. Via, yes, via dribble. I mean, that's the, that's the world we live in. Yeah. That's the communications revolution that's happening and no one is noticing it. But not only Una Dada, Roy, I mean, <clears throat> you know, would uh, Lithgow, Caboolture... Lithgow? Well, Lithgow and yeah. Natural. A Lithgow. They love their beer in Lithgow. Yeah. I don't know about sauerkraut there. I've never seen any sauerkraut. They love their sausages in Lithgow. Oh, yeah, yeah, I reckon yeah. you could get beer and yeah. sausage... A in sausage Australia. swap. A s if we get people in Lithgow to send their sausages to O-Ringen for the boys, and in O-Ringen they can send a few sausages out here. I mean, isn't that, isn't that the future? <laughs> it is, Roy. That's the future. A, a world joined under sausage. Now, O-Ringen, we back, got back with the boys. And have a look at this. The boys relaxing around in the hotel yeah. and watching episode one of Dribble. I know. It was just great when we put it up. I had no idea that they'd be there able John to do Lucy that. John there. Oh, and, Lucy, yeah, great. Oh, and Harry <laughs> taking in some of the points there yeah. on the television. And who's standing like his food? I love that He's a brooding, brooding food he eater. He didn't understand a word of it, Roy. No. It was just incredible. Uh, and, uh, look, uh, obviously... Uh
All thoughts are now with the boys as they prepare for Brazil. Brazil, yes. A yeah. final word, Roy? Have Look, you... I think they can step up. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll be spending a bit of time with the boys tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm looking very much looking forward to that. And if we can just inject Big Dukes a little more into our game plan, I think, uh, you know, they're not going to know what happened to Brazil. No. I think they're in real trouble. And have you liked uh, anything else you've seen here? The Italy 2 nil result, uh, yeah, Mexico. I, that. Yeah. I, I thought the Dutch were interesting. Yeah, uh, interesting. Interesting. Uh, Worth their third in the world ranking? Yes, yes, yes. I, I think so. But it, it lets you know where we are. Uh -huh. You know, we're up there with I Holland. I know. You know, so, so round of 16 is the I'm looking at I'm looking at us in the semis. Ah, absolutely. And with that positive thought here yeah. from Dribble, we take it away for another week. Join us next Monday morning for the post-Brazil victory celebrations. That's how I'm seeing it. <laughs> See you then, Dribble Freaks. Bye now. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Australia's best small car just got better. Get a free upgrade to the Getz five-door manual plus $500 fuel at no extra cost. With more space and more value, Hyundai Getz. It runs rings around the competition.